Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Iceland. You've asked for it and we're here. And today what we have for you are the 10 things that are going to shock you about visiting Iceland. And the first thing that's going to shock you about visiting Iceland is, look at this. The natural beauty of Iceland, this place is amazing. Glaciers, fjords, lava fields, cliffs, waterfalls, um, hot pots or hot springs you can go to. I mean, literally, this is probably the most majestic place I've ever been in Europe or in the world. It is amazing here. And that's the first thing that's going to shock you. It's just how beautiful the natural beauty is here in Iceland. It is just fantastic. We just look, icebergs from the glacier right back there crazy i mean they even have volcanoes if you like that i mean it's just amazing now the second thing that might shock you when you come to iceland is a lot of people think oh i'll go there in the summer when it's warm ha <laughs> we're here in july and it's 42 degrees outside okay it does get chilly here even in the summer so be prepared bring layers of clothes when you come bring jackets because if you think oh it says it gets into 60s one of the things they do have here is wind and if you watch many of my videos on iceland you'll notice there's a lot of wind here and that makes it even chillier so be prepared for that now but during the summer it is okay it's not snowing here yes there's some snow caps and icebergs and stuff like that but it is just gorgeous here but you should know is it does get chilly here here Liam come here. Liam come here so I mean even ask you want to get up here so boys even ask the boys boys is it warm here no no it's a little chilly and they're getting a little cold and so what you need to do is if you want if you don't have enough warm clothes you, you know if you're like these guys they've grown too big for their winter stuff they do have some shops here or you can get some Icelandic sweaters and you'll see people wear them all over the place and that'll help out, okay? The third thing that's gonna shock you about coming to Iceland is you're gonna need to drive. And it's not just the you need to drive part, it's the driving here. Now, the roads, the one is okay. I mean, it gets narrow in some places, but overall the road is fine. But just know that if you're gonna go see some of these other sites, you're gonna go on some dirt roads. No, you cannot go off-roading here, but you can go on the dirt roads on the side and explore some of these places. And probably the thing that'll shock you the most when you do drive here in Iceland is the fact that there's one lane bridges. Like you're going down the highway 90 kilometers an hour and then there's a one lane bridge. You're like, oh my God, please let no one be coming on the other side. What do I do, what do I do? It can be quite nerve wracking and the roads can get a little slick. We've seen some people like almost slide off the road. So just be ready for that because it does shock you when you're like, oh, one lane bridge, oh my God. But believe me, if you're driving around Iceland, it is fantastic to really see everything. And what's cool is you can pull off the road anywhere and see some of the sights. The fourth thing you're gonna love about coming to Iceland are the people. Literally, we've traveled around the world and my wife and I agree, the Icelandic people could possibly be the nicest people we have ever run into. I mean, everyone's thank you, everyone's helping us out, helping us with the kids, telling us where to go, what to see, what to do, giving us advice, telling us what we should eat, what we shouldn't eat, where we should go. I mean, it's amazing how fantastic the people are here in Iceland. And if you're going to, you know, Scandinavian and Nordic countries, yeah, they're fine, but they're usually not outgoingly friendly. The Icelanders are outgoingly friendly and it is just a really breath of fresh air here because they are so awesome, such awesome people and that will shock you just how friendly they are. The fifth thing that might shock you about coming to Iceland is the otherworldliness. I mean, sometimes when you're driving around here, you feel like you're on another planet. When you're driving through the lava fields, you're like, whoa, this looks like something off of Mars attacks or something. Or you're going where there's the boulders covered with moss where you can go hiking. My kids loved it. And you're like, well, this is like something from, you know, some Steven Spielberg movie or Star Wars or something. You really feel like you're on another planet. I mean, look. The ice fields here, out here, you can go on there. You're like, man, this is just amazing. And it does feel like you're on another planet sometimes. And that can shock you just how otherworldly this place is. The sixth thing that'll shock you when you're here are the hot pots or the hot springs and hot swimming pools all over the country. Make sure when you come here, you bring some swim trunks, okay? Because you're gonna go into, you know, yes, the Blue Lagoon outside of Reykjavik or any of the towns around here will have pools, warm pools, because yes, it's a little chilly here, so they have nice heated pools or it's from the geothermal underneath that warms everything up and it is really fantastic. So you get a really nice relaxing time when you're here. So those are the first six things that might shock when you're here and I know this is a great site here but let's see if we can find some other beautiful places to go in Iceland to finish off our top 10 things that'll shock you about Iceland. So we're at Godafoss now in the north of Iceland and the seventh thing that's going to shock you about coming to Iceland is how safe it is. Literally the only bad thing that's going to happen to you is maybe you fall in the waterfalls there or you go off the side of the road where there's no guardrails on the fjords. 
honestly one of the safest countries in the world and that makes it great you don't even feel like you have to lock your doors though you should but it is super safe and that's going to shock you when you're here now the eighth thing that's going to shock you when you come here is how much the people really love their icelandic sweaters it's not just the tourists that buy the handmade icelandic sweaters it's the locals as well and they all have a story behind it the one my wife bought well it was made by our waitresses well, it was made it was it was woven by our waitress's mother-in-law and the wool comes from the sheep from her father-in-law and it's all handmade stuff and you see the locals wear it you see the tourists wear it you see everybody wear it and it does keep you warm in these cold summers or winters now the ninth thing that's going to shock you when you come here is how much they use local production for the food for the wool all these kind of things look at your menus when you go out to eat and you'll see oh the food is coming from this farm the barley is from here the lamb is from here and it might only be five or six kilometers away from your restaurant and they do a really great job of locally sourcing produce and it is really great you can really taste the freshness in the food and it is fantastic and the 10th thing that'll shock you about coming to iceland is how sparse it is there's only like 330,000 people living in iceland and so there's not really cities or towns it's like little villages or little communities together of a few houses so for a tourist what that means for you is there's not hotels here what you do is you stay in guest houses okay people might rent out some rooms they're along the highways the back roads all kinds of stuff and it's kind of a shock for tourists looking for hotels no hotels here it's just guest houses anyway i hope that helps you know some things that might shock you about iceland it is a fantastic place i will really highly recommend coming here people are awesome the food is good the sites are amazing and if you want to know more about iceland top 10 sites to see in iceland five things you're going to love and hate about iceland all kinds of stuff check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter and facebook instagram all that fun stuff and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and if you want more videos like this we try to put out two travel videos every week so click that subscribe button and we really appreciate it okay and liam wants you to subscribe for his pretty little face around the world <laughs> all right so thanks again and bless bless that's bye bye or talk is thank you in icelandic bless bless <laughs>